What's going on, y'all? I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yenge, and thank you for tuning in to yet another video. Now, some of you may or may not be aware, but recently I purchased a truck camper combination, and the plan is that I'm going to move into it in the very near future and live in it full time. Before I could get to that point, however, I do have a lot of renovating that I need to do. I want to paint and update some of the appliances that aren't working and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, enjoy the video. We need to get you some gloves. You're literally gonna like stab yourself. y'all so today is day one of the renovation process the first step is actually going to be to remove the camper from the truck bed never done this before so hopefully things go according to plan but first cheers successfully got the truck camper out of the truck bed, so step one is now complete. little shot of inspiration motivation juice. It's only 2 p.m. It's all right. We're, re we're renovating, we're good. YouTube! Sorry guys. She's a weenie. Whatever. Weenie head junior. Oh. oh, hold on. Oh! We need to get you some gloves. Ah. You're literally gonna no. like stab yourself. Live life on the edge. Live life on the edge. I honestly didn't plan on yanking and tearing down so much of this hardware, but it needs to be done if we want this place to look tip top. Tessa versus Curtain Rail. Who will be the heavyweight champion of the year? Oh, Tessa. Oh, can she finish it? It's looking bleak. Oh, there it goes. Nice. I do have power tools, but I forgot them. So now we're doing everything by hand, and I didn't bring—I didn't bring anything. I brought literally one screwdriver. 
So we're uh, we're sharing it. We're switching off. But I thought, in my defense, I thought we were only going to be cleaning today. So I'll just leave that at that. Next time, I'm bringing all my tools. Let's take a poll, guys. Will Tessa die during this renovation process? Let us know in the comments below if you think she'll survive and she'll prevail, or she's going to perish. I'm probably gonna perish. I mean, I'll put all bets on perishing. Oh, it's okay yeah. though. Ow. God, I needed my power drill. What am I doing? This is a peasant tool. <laughs> Oh! oh! Opa! <laughs> Shoop. What happened? I got a splinter in my butt. You got a splinter in your butt? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I can kiss it to make it feel better. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Literally. we're pretty much we're pretty much done for the day. We didn't get too much done. We got a good start. We had to like stop midway through, but we started cleaning, and that's the first step. So that's awesome, and we'll see you back very soon. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye curtains. Day two of the renovation process. And Jesus, the plan scared. for the day is we're gonna be scraping the wallpaper off of the walls, maybe take out the fridge, and we're gonna start prepping to paint. We're probably not gonna get to painting today, but hopefully we can do that tomorrow. For now, we're just gonna scrape them clean. You almost you ready? took out my eye. <laughs> and you, you scared you're like me. You're standing in the most awkward position. Well, now. yeah, you told me to stand here. <laughs> I don't know what to. All right, let's go get started, guys. Mask on, so you don't get asbestos. There's no asbestos in here. Asbestos. Asbestos. I'm running as fast as I can. Asbestos, I'm baking muffins as best as I can. <laughs> I didn't know exactly what asbestos was, and yesterday I just found out about it for the first time, and so I started freaking out because I was like, oh, Crap, my camper is pretty vintage. There's probably asbestos in it. We're gonna die. We inhaled it and like I read stuff online that made it seem like it's radioactive material. And basically like I thought if you inhaled it once you die in 12 months. <laughs> so I was like freaking out about it, but we ordered some really heavy duty masks that are not here yet. They should be here today, but we're not doing anything that might expose asbestos today. So for now we have these guys and- Oh, I should get mine, huh? Yeah. This yeah, hers ain't gonna it. cut it. This hers ain't gonna, gonna cut it. it. Honestly, this probably wouldn't either, but it's better than nothing for now. Look at that. Butter. Oh, there is a layer underneath. Yeah. Ooh. ASMR who? Oh, oh. man. Oh, look at that water damage. Oh, no. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look pretty. Oh. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty moldy. That's all mold, right? What is this, guys? You tell us. I don't know. It looks like mold to me, but... It's definitely water damage. When I bought it, the guy said that there is slight water damage. He said it's very minor. I don't know if this is minor or not. first layer of wallpaper off, but now there's this stuff underneath. It's kind of like when you peel a sticker off and that paper residue gets left behind. Yeah, so that's what we're having to deal with now. And I don't know what we're gonna do.
So I was searching up how to remove this residue from the wallpaper and one of the suggestions was to try to spray it with water and then scrape it off with a plastic scraper. So I'm gonna try that right now. best to take it off to paint anyways. Oh, oh shit. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Mr. Fly. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's another one. Where? On the hood. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, good thing. That's a good idea, actually. We'll get. We'll now get to clean this guy off, too, which is when you're renovating like this, it's a good idea to just take everything off and clean it so you can start new and you don't have to worry about all this dirt and nasty dead flies, apparently, hanging out everywhere. Yeah. Like this guy. Oh. 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 That was pretty good. Tessa's first time using a power drill. No, it's not. I just don't use them regularly. Been scraping away at this wall for the past... I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour or so, and haven't made much progress, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. So we're pretty much done here for the day. We're losing light and it's getting pretty dark. We still gotta clean up, but we will see you back here tomorrow for hopefully the last day that we're preparing the walls and we'll be starting to paint really shortly. Welcome back to yet another day of the renovation process. As you see behind me, earlier in the day, I removed the rest of the wallpaper from this wall. So that side is almost ready to paint. We just gotta sand it down first. And over here, Tessa is actually continuing to try to get off this impossible wallpaper residue stuff. And we we're reading online and some people said that you could just sand it at this point so we we're just gonna try to sand it because this is gonna take so much longer than Four. we want it to take so we're just gonna try to sand it first i'm gonna try to remove the fridge here and i think it should be pretty simple i'm not sure just yet but that's the next step on the agenda for today do you want to just continue to scrape it oh no i'm taking a break you just got here <laughs> She just got here. I've been working for much longer than she has, and she always, all, already, always, already wants a break. But she always wants a break. This was the door that covered the fridge from the outside. I went ahead and unbolted that. I disconnected the shore power. Um, still got to disconnect the propane and the DC power. And then I think it will be a matter of unbolting stuff from the front and just pulling the fridge out. So hopefully it's as easy as it sounds, right? So I'm pretty sure that I jinxed it by saying that it's gonna be easy because it sure as hell was not. But we got the gas line disconnected. We got the power disconnected. It's all unbolted in the front. Now we're just gonna take it out from inside. I don't wanna break it. <laughs> <laughs> There she goes, there she goes. <laughs> ah! 
need help? This is heavier than I thought. Jesus. Alright. Oh. Okay. Here I am, just holding your hand. What would you like for Christmas, little boy? All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Go out there, go on some adventures, beat the status quo, live your life, do all that fun stuff. I look forward to seeing you guys very soon in the next video. I forgot to mention, this is also Tessa's first time using a screwdriver. She didn't know what a Phillips head was? Yes, I did. <laughs> Why are you lying?